birthday. It's your birthday month and I am reading you guys first this month for the mid-month general readings. And uh, for your reading today, I am using the Anna K Tarot as my primary tarot deck. I will also be clarifying cards with the Anna K Tarot. Um, at the end of your reading, I've selected the Romance Angels and the Psychic Tarot for the Heart as your Oracle guidance messages. Um, the Sun is currently in your sign Virgo and Mars is also in Virgo uh, as of today. The Moon is in Aries today and Mercury is in Leo, Venus is in Leo. Jupiter is in Libra, Saturn is in Sagittarius, uh, Uranus is in Aries, Neptune is in Pisces, Pluto is in Capricorn, and the True Note is in Leo, and Chiron is in Pisces. We just had a full moon in Pisces. Many of you may be uh, feeling that full moon. Um, it is in your opposite sign, so uh, definitely a lot of stuff coming up around the full moon and always after the full moon, at least uh, five to ten days after the full moon. So, I don't know what to expect from your reading. If you watch my mini Lenormand readings and love messages from the beginning of the month for your September love readings, those will definitely help inform uh, your love life and the overall tone of the month. But now we're going to delve into your mid-month general reading. So we're going to be drilling down into the past, present, and future. Um, these readings will be coming out next week. I'm recording on a Thursday, so you probably won't, uh, unless I decide to release this reading early, you won't get this week reading until Monday. So that being said, uh, these readings are uh, covering your past, present, and future. The present being the moment that you view this reading. This reading is for all and my Virgos out there who may be watching. Game. Virgo suns, Virgo moons, and Virgo risings, and those Virgos that are on the cusp. Ooh, a couple cards here. What do we have? The Knight of Rods, fire sign energy. The Magician, uh, definitely ruled by uh, Gemini here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords. Can you guys see that? So, I see a lot of positive things happening for you. Uh, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. And it feels like uh, um, things are moving in your favor. But I'm also seeing that there's going to be some downtime for you. If you are have been wondering when you're going to get a chance to rest, I do see that coming up. Let's see if these cards come out in your reading. Wow. So many messages. Six of Swords and the Five of Rods. Okay, be careful where you're steering your ship. Some of you are looking for a, uh, a fight here. Looking, looking for some kind of argument that's going to possibly result in a huge decision being made. Or some of you are returning back to a situation that has been very challenging. Okay, let's see. And I am getting a lot of messages already, which is good. Spirit, what are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Virgo? Covering their past, present, and future. All Virgo suns, moons, risings. Wow. Chariot in reverse. Sign of Cancer. This could indicate feeling lost or stuck or things not moving forward. Also, car trouble, uh, trouble with um, directions, getting lost on the way somewhere. Okay, so a lot of energy behind you guys. I'm feeling it right now. Definitely feeling like my camera is about to topple over, but I hope it doesn't. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. And let's... Oh, no, that's it. That's the one right there. So we had a lot of cards come out. Let's see if they come out in your reading. Page of Cups in reverse. Clarified with the Chariot. There's your Chariot. The Three of Cups. The 
High Priest. Death in reverse, also the sign of Scorpio. Going into your present situation, you have the Empress in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm going to angle the camera a little bit over here. Going into the future. You have the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Page of Swords reversed with the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Coming up with the Four of Swords. Yes, that's a couple of these cards did come out. Um, the Four of Swords did come out. The World in reverse is your outcome bottom of the deck we have the six of cups in reverse. I'm going to sneak a peek under that we have the five of pentacles. Okay so this is definitely some soulmate energy here with the six of cups in reverse. However as an underlying uh, theme or challenge of your reading the underlying energy oops my chair is uh, going off the edge here. This talks about having some bittersweet memories um, it's like you only remember the bad parts of a relationship or you only think back on someone and have the bitterness left. Um, you could also be feeling a bit out in the cold regarding someone or some relationship, feeling like you're not getting the attention or feeling alienated. This could also be just that poverty mindset. But some of you still stuck in the past regarding someone, still having those bitter memories or still having those bitter feelings. Um, then the lesson behind the Six of Cups in reverse is instead of just thinking about uh, all the bad things that happened, um, try and take just the good things that you got out of that experience with you as you move forward. All right, but definitely uh, this could be with regards to a past love or a past soulmate or memories of a situation, even going back to your childhood that left a bitter taste in your mouth. All right, so. We got that out of the way, and we can begin re with uh, reading your cards. All right, so in the recent past, where's my little pointer? We have the Page of Cups in reverse here in your recent past. So some kind of disappointing message. Um, this could also be with regards to a water sign. Um, it just says that maybe something disappointed you or you were hoping for um, more positive news, but it does appear that see why I clarified this message or this person with the chariot. This can also represent someone who's kind of immature. They don't um, they don't process their emotions in a very mature way. They're kind of flaky. They're um, emotional, and um, this could simply just be some kind of disappointment in love, not a major disappointment. Um, Clarified with the chariot, which is very interesting. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer or someone that has cancer in their chart. I'm also feeling like, um, I feel like this person is disappointed, but also it's because they need to move on. They need to move, move forward. This could be someone who you are friends with or you are friends with in your past. I am seeing three people here. This can also just talk about um, lighthearted energy, party celebrations. I mean, it is your birthday month, some of you um, celebrating your birthdays, celebrating uh, with your friends, going out with friends, not taking anything very seriously. I'm kind of seeing this as someone who feels left out here or someone who um, maybe prior to a celebration or prior to getting together with friends just received some disappointing news. It wasn't exactly what they hoped for. Um, it could have involved transportation or needing to leave something early. I'm kind of getting like they needed. They were sad because they had to leave a party early or they were sad because they had to, um, they had to move on, you know. Um, but I do feel like you do have, you, you did have supportive friends around you, you did have friends and family. You were celebrating, um, I'm more seeing friends than family, but like your friends being your family. I'm seeing like just uh, drinking, celebrating, 
lighthearted stuff here. And with the high priest here and death reverse, this is very interesting. Um, you know, because the high priest talks about commitment, it talks about employment, contracts, doing the right thing, um, taking on traditional roles in society. So in your past, it's telling me, Virgo, you were, you know, you were keeping your shirt buttoned up. You know, you were um, doing things by the rules. You were comfortable with conformity, whether that was your role as a father, role as a mother, role as an empl employee or employer. You were doing things by the books. Um, some of you are married. Some of you are in committed relationships. Um, you're happy to celebrate with friends, but that's where you draw the line. You're not going to be fooling around. You're not going to be doing anything extravagant. Um, some of you may have been celebrating a wedding anniversary or um, This can also be someone that is has your back, that has good advice for you, uh, talks about religion, large organizations, employment. Maybe some of you just, just uh, signed a new job, got a new job this month. I'm not seeing that so much. But I am seeing like someone who's comfortable taking on like traditional roles here and is comfortable with the way things are and um, wants to fit in, you know, with their social groups. Even if that means that, like, you're going to be a little bit disappointed with your romantic life. Um, maybe things aren't going so great there and you just need to carry on. It just says you need you needed to carry on. You have good friends supporting you. You have a good job. Um, so everything looks good there. Death in reverse. Very powerful energy is Scorpio. We have Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces represented in your past. So maybe you were dealing with any one of those signs. But death in reverse is that there's some really big changes happening in your life that you're probably already aware of. I don't seldom talk to people that have this card in reverse that aren't aware of them. They know that something's happening. It could be um, a relationship is changing, a job is changing, a role is changing, your role that you see yourself in, your baby becoming more responsible, you're becoming more um, of a good employee or a good employer. You're seeing yourself as like, you know, you're starting to conform more. Um, you're ready to to let go of some stuff, but here with death in reverse, you haven't completely let go. This talks about burning bridges running away. There's something that you are not um, completely comfortable confronting yet in terms of a major life change. And it just says that you're... Um, either 0 to 50% of the way, maybe more, through those changes, but you haven't completely evolved. You haven't completely transformed. This is transformation that is ongoing and will be for several months. Um, maybe it's that um, you transferred to a new job, but you're still hanging out with the same friends. Maybe it's that you got married or you're in a committed relationship, but there's still people that you talk to or that you think about. Um, there's ongoing changes happening for you, and they will be um, until you completely let go, until you completely remove those people, situations, uh, circumstances um, from preventing you from letting go and moving forward. Always a positive card. Um, it sometimes can indicate a literal death, as like a death in the family. I'm not particularly seeing that here. Um, it is possible that some of you had to go to a funeral. I do. I am sorry if that is the case. My sympathies are with you, obviously. Um, but you just know that some things are changing and maybe for the better. I hope for the better. I think for the better. Um, there may have been a point in time when you were feeling a little pouty about it or disappointed. But you know that it's for the best. You know that you have to move forward and it's for the best. So... How are we doing on time here? Good. So, going into your present situation. Yeah, um, we've got uh, Venus here, uh, ruled by Taurus, ruled by Venus with the Empress. We also could see this as a Taurus or an Aries female that you're dealing with. Um, the Empress in reverse 
she's very closed off to love. She can be possessive of someone or mean. She can be very toxic and, and smothering. This can also be someone who's under the weather, not feeling well. This could be a, a, a strong female in your life or if you are a female Virgo watching this. Um, I could say your mother isn't doing well or a female in your life isn't doing well. Maybe you aren't feeling well. You may be uh, been a little under the weather or a lot under the weather. Um, I'm also getting this as uh, like an ex here, someone who is very jealous or possessive of you, someone who feels um, turned down in love, okay, uh, who feels closed off from love. They're not uh, accessing the abundance, the love around them. Uh, this is universal energy. It's open to all. So there's some blockages here maybe with a female in your life. Um, because upright, she is the ultimate woman. She is the the dream lady. She's your, she takes care of everything. She feels abundant. She feels like she has it all, you know. So could be also you're dealing with a, um, the more negative aspects of a Taurus female or an Aries female or any other sign. Um, I often do look at the card that comes, uh, that, that it's underneath. So I feel like it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You do have a lot of that energy coming up, um, the water sign energy. So I feel like, you know, this week is a good week um, for you in terms of your family. Uh, you have a very stable situation going on in terms of your work life, your finances, and your family structure. Long-term investments look good. Um, you know, you, you literally have nothing to worry about there except I feel like there's something, Virgo, that you are not seeing a return on in terms of your investments. I don't feel like um, it's very interesting to have the Ten of Pentacles next to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse because it's almost contradicting itself. It's like saying you have all this security, you have um, friends, you have a good job, um, but maybe there's something where you feel like you're falling short, like you've put all this work in and it's kind of saying like, why am I not happy? Um, where are the cups in your reading? Where is the emotional satisfaction? Um, I mean, I see the Nine of Cups here in reverse um, in the future, but if this could be something that you feel like you put a lot of time and effort into and you're just not seeing the results. Um, you may be getting financial rewards. You might be getting a lot of um, emotional security from it, but... Um, it just feels like, um, you know, this is, this is, well, I wanted to say futility, but in the Thoth Tarot, the Seven of Pentacles represents some kind of a failure here. Um, real or perceived, but something that you feel like um, you just aren't seeing the results on, and it feels like it's something that you are, like, clinging on to mentally. It could be that you're still healing from something you have to walk away from something um, that's been very painful for you. Um, even in your present situation, it could be that you had to revisit something uh, in the material world that triggered something mentally for you. Um, the Ten of Swords in reverse to me is clinging on to something that's over. Trying to salvage something that's over. Um, but the cards are saying you, while well, maybe there is a jealous, mean woman in your midst or someone who is very angry, possessive, or smothering of your time and energy, you care very much for your family. You care very much for your stability. Um, you certainly have that going for you, but maybe relationships, maybe there is a woman or a man who's coming up here who you're just like, oh, this is so over. I'm just done. I need to move on. Um, and you're just not seeing your pentacles taking, uh, they're just not producing for you in that way. So, um, 
Moving into the future, some interesting stuff here. Yeah. Let's see. We've got the Nine of Cups in reverse, falling under the Empress in reverse. And this is, um, this can be a difficult energy, um, Virgo. It can sometimes say that uh, you want what someone else has or you can't be happy until someone else has you have what someone else has this could also be like you're getting your wishes um this is about wish fulfillment when it's reverse and saying that you're something that you really wanted very badly is not you're not getting what it is that you want when you want it and so there can be some selfishness and some um, feelings of resentment uh, and it's almost like um, someone is really unsatisfied here and I'm feeling it like in terms of the love life in terms of their love life um, again the swords in reverse the three of swords in reverse letting go of heartache getting out of the love triangle um, healing um, healing from something that it's like you have to pull each one of these swords out one by one so that they can heal and that can be very painful and um, you know it can hurt quite a bit now this can also say that you are um, or someone else is breaking your heart Virgo um, maybe you're dealing with an air sign you have the page of swords in reverse Someone is, I do feel like someone is spying on you or someone is, um, there could be some gossip or some bad news or some, um, delayed news. I'm seeing someone here who's like, they're setting themselves free in some way. They're getting themselves out of a bad situation, but they're also like kind of spying on you. They're also like not speaking very nicely of you. I do see some kind of heartbreak here and some kind of um feeling of like indulging in some very low negative energy um i'm somehow getting this knight of cups as you and it's kind of saying like you're gonna follow your heart you're gonna do what's right for you you need to you need romance in your life you need you need affection in your life um and Maybe you just need to take a break from this air sign or you just need to do your own thing. You kind of want to, I kind of see you wanting to kind of get lost in your fantasies and your dreams and poetry and romance. And this could mean that you need to take some time out for yourself to kind of recover because it feels very much like you're involved in some family stuff here. You're involved in some like ego, um, energies here, some swords energies here that are kind of nasty, and it's just making you feel disappointed emotionally. Now your outcome is the world in reverse, and we're going to talk about that. So the world in reverse talks about um, a cycle that is um, repeating itself, and it's like you're, you're going to keep getting the same lesson in a different outfit until you kind of get it. You're going to get the same kind of person. You're going to draw the same kind of people into your life until you realize this person is not good for me. This type of situation is not good for me. Until you follow your heart and realize what it is you really need. Um, I'm seeing this as unfinished business. I also feel like it's a life lesson that you have yet to master. And you may be clinging on to a past victory here. Um... This is a, a very good card when it's upright. I often do see this around a solar return, um, com mastering or completing a cycle. But um, it being in reverse, it feels like maybe Virgo this year, well, I do see celebrations for you and I do see like um, some stable family stuff going on. Like I feel like your finances and your money are really good. There's still something that you do need to tweak. There's still some lessons that you do need to learn. And this is going to be a big year for you. Um, you're going to be learning so much about yourself. You're going to be learning so much about what makes you happy and what you really need. But I don't feel like um, 
you're, you have mastered this lesson yet. There's still something ongoing here. Um, and I kind of see you being content on your own, taking some time out for yourself, um, and thinking about, you know, what is really going to make you feel complete? What is really going to make you feel whole? Um, there's a victory here for you. This is a good card, regardless if it's upright or reversed. There is a victory here for you this month, a huge victory and huge accomplishments. Um, this is the time to celebrate all that you've been through and all that you've accomplished. And certainly it has been quite a lot. Um, I think you've let, you're letting go of some heartbreak. Um, I think you're ready to move forward and follow your heart. Um, and certainly there's always a lesson for you. This one just is a little bit tricky, I think. Um, whether you're dealing with a water sign or an air sign, I see both here in your reading. Um, I think that there's a water sign that's possibly moving forward, and I think that there's an air sign that uh, is also moving forward, but I still feel like they try and spy on you or they try and um, cut you down, and you don't need those people around you. You definitely want to keep the supportive friends around you and the good money flowing. That's awesome. Um, and good for you, for those of you who have a stable job, employment, who are in committed relationships and um, are ready to push forward there. So I'm going to pull uh, two oracle messages for you. The first one is from the Romance Angels. For my Virgos out there that are watching. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. So, I do feel like, um, you know, normally when this card comes up, I'm speaking generally here, um, there could be something that you are involved with, that you're doing, that you know is not healthy for you. Um, this could be with regards to a relationship or a person that is tempting you. And you know that if you go back to that person, it's just going to make you miserable. So this is more about um, just paying attention to the signs. Because it does feel like there's some um, unfinished business that you is kind of like calling your name. And it's like ghosts of girlfriends and boyfriends past coming back to haunt you. And... You just kind of need to pull this veil and like kind of be like go back into your area go back into your your zone here and um, pay attention the universe will always give you signs especially if you are unsure of what to do so just pay attention this month all right um, Center yourself, ground yourself, isolate yourself if you need to. Not in a bad way, but in, in a good way. Find a peaceful place where you can really focus on what it is you need, Virgo. What's going to make you the most happy? What's going to um, protect you and keep you in that safe place? Okay. So let's see here. Pulling a message for Virgo. Which does a Virgo need to know? Please help guide them. Ooh, two cards popped out. And I think it's very interesting that we um, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands here. And uh, the Five of Wands did come out uh, while I was shuffling your cards. So 
with the with the eight of pentacles or dedicated effort that says you're creating a masterpiece and I see you putting the finishing touches you're very dedicated to the task at hand you're ready to do the hard work um, you're very focused you're very disciplined and um, you don't need any distractions right now you just are wanting to focus on what it is you want to create um, this is a beautiful message whether it's a relationship or a piece of work or a creative thing you've got the stamina and the drive this month to produce something very effectively very efficiently and you're very dedicated to um, the people and the things that you care about and this is really positive now with the five of wands here you know we do have a lot of um, we've got the moon or we've got mercury in leo venus in leo and the true node in leo so there's also a lot of fire energy being activated with Uranus and Aries, Saturn and Sagittarius, and the moon and Aries. So you could be going through some challenging times. Um, this is about like choosing your battles. Pick your battles. Um, so he's got his shield here. He's ready to defend himself, ready to fight. Um, so, you know, it's there are going to be some bumps and bruises along the way. This could be affecting your work life. It could be like... You just wanting to finish something, you just wanting to focus on your situation, your relationship, your work, and there could be people trying to get involved and, you know, petty hassles and squabbles and such. But this is just about, like, you know, um, I want to say, like, ignoring it, but, like, you know, you just have to, like, put people in their place sometimes and just say... Uh, that's great that you want to cause all this drama, but I'm not about that right now. I'm about work, focus, doing my thing. I'm on my grind. And uh, you're going to get through these challenging times just fine. Um, as long as you leave the past in the past and, you know, pay attention to the red flags. There are signs cautioning you, Virgo. Um, the universe really wants you to do what you do best, and that is... Focus on the details. Focus on the task at hand. Bring your dedicated skills and effort. Bring your precision. Bring your attention to detail, your flair, your style, your um, sex appeal. Bring all that to the table and these challenging times are going to be nothing for you. It's just going to be food for the fodder. So, <clears throat> a really fantastic reading. And once again, I want to wish you all a very happy birthday. Um... I thank you guys so much for being my patrons on here. If you wouldn't mind getting the word out, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, I uh, try not to promote over promote too much on my YouTube channel because I end up losing subscribers over there. So tell your friends, tell your family if they want to receive a love forecast and a general reading every month ad free. Um, please let them know about the good, the bad, and the tarot. I really appreciate it. And I am doing private readings. So if you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, the link is below. In the